This country is home to the world's oldest grapevine. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we embark on a journey through the enchanting landscapes and cultural wonders of Slovenia. Nestled in the heart of Europe, this small yet diverse country captivates with its stunning geography, from the majestic Julian Alps to the picturesque coastline along the Adriatic Sea. Join us and stay to the end to learn more fascinating facts about this country's geography, history, and people. Slovenia is a small country located in Central Europe. It borders Italy to the west, Austria to the north, Hungary to the northeast, Croatia to the southeast, and the Adriatic Sea to the southwest. Slovenia covers a total area of 20,273 square kilometers or 7,827 miles, and the capital and largest city is Ljubljana. Slovenia has a highly diverse landscape despite its small size. The geography of Slovenia is shaped by its location between the Alps, the Pannonian Basin, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Dinaric Alps. It can be divided into several distinct land regions based on geography and climate. The Alpine region lies in the northwest of the country. This mountainous region contains Slovenia's highest peak, Triglav, at 2,864 meters, or 9,396 feet. The Alpine region has steep valleys, dense forests, mountain meadows, and glacial lakes. The hilly pre-Alpine region, which covers much of central Slovenia. This area contains rolling hills, plateaus, and large fields. The sub-Pannonia region in northeastern Slovenia consists of plains, low hills, and fertile valleys. The Dinaric Alps stretch along the southern border of Slovenia, separating the country from Croatia. This rugged limestone mountain chain contains deep river gorges and high karst plateaus. The isolated karst plateau region lies along the Adriatic Sea coast. It is known for its sparsely vegetated limestone plateau, caves, sinkholes, and underground rivers. The narrow Slovenian littoral makes up Slovenia's small coastline along the Adriatic Sea. It contains coastal wetlands, flysh hills, and terraced vineyards. Slovenia has an extensive river network fed by alpine streams and springs. The Sava River is the largest and flows from northwest to southeast across Slovenia before emptying into the Danube River in Serbia. Lake Bled, located in northwestern Slovenia, is a popular tourist destination known for its picturesque church-topped island. The karst landscape is dotted with caves, sinkholes, and disappearing lakes. Underground rivers carved many of Slovenia's extensive cave systems over millennia. Skocin Caves is a UNESCO World Heritage Site noted for its dramatic gorges and giant collapsed dolidens. Slovenia is home to just over two million people representing a mix of ethnicities, religions, and languages. Ethnic Slovenes make up around 83% of the population. They are a South Slavic people related to Croatians and Serbians. There are also Hungarian and Italian minorities, each making up around 0.5% of the population. These groups reside near Slovenia's borders with Hungary and Italy. Romani people represent another small but distinct ethnic group in Slovenia. Slovenia is religiously homogeneous with a majority Christian Catholic population. Around 70% of Slovenians identify as Roman Catholic, belong to the Roman Catholic Church in Slovenia, and Christianity has played an important historical role in the country. Protestantism accounts for less than 1% of the population. There is also a small Muslim community representing around 2.4% of the population, as well as small Jewish and Orthodox Christian communities. Many Slovenians are not highly observant and consider themselves atheists. The Slovene language is the first language of around 88% of Slovenia's population. Slovenia is recognized as an official EU language and uses Latin script. 
Italian and Hungarian are recognized regional minority languages spoken in certain municipalities. Many Slovenians are multilingual and also speak English, German, Serbo-Croatian, or other European languages. Slovenia's cuisine reflects its location between the Alps, Mediterranean, and Pannonian regions. From hearty mountain dishes to Adriatic seafood, Slovenia has a tasty array of signature foods. Krofi are yeasted donuts, a carnival treat across Slovenia. These bite-sized fritters are fried and coated in fine sugar or filled with jam, chocolate, or custard. Krofi are similar to Hungarian kurtuskalaks and are especially popular in Slovenian styria. Bograč is a thick beef and vegetable stew originating in Slovenian styria. Meat, onions, potatoes, peppers, tomatoes, and herbs are simmered in a cast iron pot. The hearty one-pot dish is cooked over an open fire by herdsmen while in the alpine pastures. Strukelji are rolled dumplings with sweet or savory fillings. The soft dough is filled with cheese, meat, vegetables, nuts, or fruit. Strukelji are boiled, steamed, or baked in a pan, or rolled in dough and baked as a strudel. These pastries likely came from Austria to Slovenia. Kremna Rezina or Kremsnita is a Slovenian cream cake layered with vanilla custard and dough. The dessert has Hungarian origins, but has become Slovenia's most popular cake. It is made across the country in different sized layers and topped with powdered sugar. Strategically situated between the Adriatic Sea and the Pannonian Plain, Slovenia has been at the center of many empires and conflicts throughout history. From ancient Roman beginnings to Yugoslav independence, its history reveals much about the broader development of Central and Southern Europe. The area of present-day Slovenia has been inhabited since prehistoric times. In the first century BCE, Slovenia was incorporated into the Roman Empire. Romans established settlements along trade routes and introduced Christianity, Latin language, and culture. In the 6th century, Slavs migrated into the region. Slovenia later became part of the Holy Roman Empire. Medieval rule was characterized by Germanization and the proliferation of feudal estates. The Habsburg dynasty rose to power in Slovenia by the 13th century. The Habsburg monarchy gained control over most of Slovenia by the 15th century. It was divided among various Austrian crown lands. The Protestant Reformation spread, but counter-Reformation efforts re-established Catholicism. Slovenia experienced peasant revolts, Ottoman invasions, and witch trials during this era. The Enlightenment facilitated the beginnings of Slovene national consciousness. Napoleon briefly wrested Slovenia from Habsburg control in the early 1800s before it was reincorporated. With the dissolution of Austria-Hungary after World War I, Slovenia joined the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes in 1918. It was annexed by Germany in World War II. Post-war, Slovenia became a republic within Yugoslavia. Some autonomy was achieved, but political and economic power remained centralized. It experienced stability and progress as the most prosperous Yugoslav Republic. Slovenian independence efforts grew in the 1980s behind democratic reforms. In 1990, Slovenia became the first republic to secede from Yugoslavia. A brief armed conflict ensued before Slovenia was recognized internationally as an independent nation in 1992. Slovenia joined NATO and the EU in the 2000s, adopted the euro currency, and continues to develop as a democratic, prosperous Central European country. Socialist Yugoslavia industrialized Slovenia after World War II. Heavy industry dominated in cities like Ljubljana and Maribor. Living standards rose as Slovenia became Yugoslavia's most prosperous republic. 
but Slovenia had limited economic policy control and invested earnings in poorer regions. When Slovenia declared independence in 1991, it lost Yugoslav markets. This turbulent transition saw GDP fall and unemployment rise. But Slovenia moved quickly to stabilize and open its economy. Reforms included privatization, tax changes, and reducing the welfare state. New trading relationships were forged. Joining the EU in 2004 was a turning point. Slovenia attracted foreign investment and integrated into EU markets. High-tech exports, especially pharmaceuticals, drove growth and sound fiscal policies enabled it to adopt the euro in 2007. The global financial crisis hit Slovenia hard in 2009 due to overleveraged banks and businesses. GDP contracted severely. Today, it has a GDP of $61 billion. Slovenia entered an EU bailout program but avoided sovereign default through consolidation. The debt crisis necessitated austerity measures and economic restructuring. If you enjoyed this video on Slovenia, you'll love this next one.